Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are looking at finding first differences given a table of values uh, in order to determine if the relation shown is linear or nonlinear. So when we have a table of values uh, given to us, we can use the first differences method to find out if this is a linear relation or not without having to graph it. So I have two uh, table of values here. I'm going to show you how we do this. Uh, in order to do first differences, we want to find the differences in the y values, but it only works if the differences in the x values are constant. So let's just check, make sure that the x values are going up constantly by the same amount. So here we see that um, it goes up by 1, and it goes up by 1, and it goes up by 1, and so we're good to proceed with our first differences. Uh, to see if this is linear or nonlinear. So we compare the y values. Take your first two y values and we're going to subtract them. 6 minus 5 equals 1. Now we're going to compare the next two y values. So we'll do 8 minus 6 equals 2. So this already is enough to show that it's nonlinear, but let's do the last set. 12 minus 8 equals 4. So take a look at the first differences that we have here. They're all different. Okay? In order for a relation to be linear, all of the first differences have to be equal. These are not equal, so we can confirm then that this relation is nonlinear. We can't confirm any other uh, type of relation here just from the first differences, but so far we could say that this is nonlinear. That's all that we need to do right now. So now let's look at the next table of values that we have. Here first, before we check the first differences, let's make sure that the x values are increasing by a constant amount. So here, far, from negative 5 to negative 3, we're going up by 2. From negative 3 to negative 1, I'm going up by 2. And from negative 1 to positive 1, we're going up by 2. So we are okay to proceed with our first differences. So we're going to come over on the uh, right-hand column in the dependent variables and compare the values. So the first two we compare, we'll do 4 minus 8, and we get negative 4. Now let's compare the next two. And notice how I'm always doing the bottom one minus the top one. Bottom one minus the top one. And we just want to make sure that we maintain the same order so that we can compare the first differences properly. So again, we get negative 4 on that one. And then the last set, negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. So when we compare our first differences here, they are all equal. And if the first differences are all equal, then we can confirm that this is a linear relation. And that is how we use first differences to find if a relation is linear or nonlinear when we're given a table of values. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.